The Royal Air Force and the people who make it happen. The Royal Air Force has long maintained the ability to move personnel and material around the world in support of operations, and has never had a more capable and reactive transport fleet than it does today. RAF Briais Norton in Oxfordshire is the Royal Air Force's largest base and home to the Royal Air Force's C-130J Hercules, C-17 Globemaster III, Atlas, A400M, and Voyager Aircraft. RAF Briais Norton and RAF Nordholt are the two bases dedicated to air mobility. The Royal Air Force has never been better prepared for the tasks it may face and air mobility is no exception. The Atlas, better known as the A400M, made its maiden flight in 2009. The A400MS first operational trial was delivering humanitarian aid to the Caribbean in response to Hurricane Irma in September 2017. Two aircraft were deployed and worked alongside other RAF Air Mobility Force assets, delivering over 1,500 tons of supplies. More recently, the A400M provided relief supplies to Mozambique in response to devastating flooding, in both cases taking advantage of the aircraft's ability to land on short, damaged runways that were unable to support the physical weight of larger aircraft. The A400M has also been used in a critical aeromedical evacuation role, carrying two British personnel injured in a paragliding incident in continental Europe back to the UK. The A400M has not only been hard at work around the world, it has also broken records. In November 2018, an RAF Atlas, A400M, dropped a 23-ton payload onto Salisbury Plain, the heaviest payload ever dropped by a British aircraft. The first Boeing C-17 Globemaster III was introduced into Royal Air Force service in May 2001 as part of a lease of four aircraft from the United States. These early aircraft were intended to serve as interim aircraft until the A400MS were delivered, but their performance was so good that the MOD decided to purchase the aircraft at the end of their leases in 2008. The C-17 Globemaster III is a great asset for transporting large cargoes to theater, quickly. The C-17 also evacuated people from South Sudan in 2013 and repatriated those killed in the Tunisian attack in 2015. C-130J Hercules The Royal Air Force has had a long partnership with the Lockheed Martin C-130 Hercules since 1967 and the latest iteration. The C-130J Hercules is no exception. The aircraft was used extensively during the Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts, but is now used almost exclusively in a tactical environment. The Royal Air Force has dedicated C-130 squadrons, 24 squadron is the operational conversion unit, and 47 squadron carries out operational duties. The A400M took over the A2B route flying from the C-130 force allowing more assets to be dedicated to tactical roles. However, the C-130 did not only shine domestically, 